Before we get into this AMC stock video, I want to ask you guys to do a huge favor for me and follow my new channel, Stock Market Madness. From time to time, YouTube suppresses some of my AMC videos on this channel, so I will be posting more exclusive AMC videos on my new channel as time goes on. If you guys have been here for a while, you know I never take sponsors and I never try to sell you anything. I just make good content about the stock that we all love. So please subscribe, guys. It's the first link in my description. To all the real AMC shareholders out there, number one, it is 100% clear that the latest run of FUD is coordinated paid for it has been coming in harder than ever number two if retail has sold and the play was over there is zero reason to do any of this number three they still need capitulation number four vote yes and number five the apes are never leaving that goes into this theory to the too big to fail theory it's a theory in banking and finance that asserts that certain corporations particularly financial institutions are so large and interconnected that their failure would, would be so disastrous to the greater economic system and that they are therefore must be supported by governments when they face potential failure. Once AMC starts to shake up Wall Street, I'm going to do five brackets. 10% will be sold at around 1,000. 20% will be sold around 5,000. 20% will be sold around 20,000. 25 at around 50K and 25 at 100K. This is generational wealth. Comment down below what your exit strategy is as of now towards the end of 2022. I would like to see some ideas about how you would grow the theater industry into the future. This is a really good post, guys. Listen in. First, as I preface, I understand that a theater has nothing to do nothing but keep its movies up to date and they will never go anywhere. However, not going anywhere also means not going up or at least being at the mercy of the box office. That's a good point. If I owned a theater or if you owned a theater, what would you do to keep attracting attention? For the sake of the length of the post, I'll describe it in three or so things I've seen, but I really want to know what you guys would do. So besides the regular gimmicks like student specials, discounts, etc., in my childhood I remember that theaters used to have arcades in them. Whether it was to occupy children while adults watched a movie, or was used to lure children in with adults, or whatever it seemed to work at the time. Another thing I've seen is a theater that also serves food. You get a dinner and everything else. I actually really liked that one, but it was slightly disturbing having a waitress check on you every few minutes. A little more so when someone in the middle needed to get the attention. Lastly, I'll be remiss to not point out that theaters are trying to offer more immersive effects like 3D or gimmicky seating. But again, I'm not impressed with it at all. So what do you guys think would actually shake up the theater industry? Obviously, AMC is on the path to do very, very well. But the same makes a good point. Just very, very well might not be good enough in the long term. Feel free to drop some ideas down below.